Hello, in this video I want to talk about linear curve fitting of nonlinear data. And this is a pretty uh, powerful tool that I think is useful to learn. So what you'll need to do is get the equation into the form y equals mx plus b. And the reason we're doing that is because we want to get a plot that is a straight line. So when you plot y versus x, if this is done correctly and in this form, you'll get a straight line where m is your slope and B is your intercept. Okay, so why is this useful? So you can take physical phenomenon and try to get it in this Y equals MX plus B form and if done correctly um, you'll plot blank versus blank. It may not always be Y and X. That's just a simple Y equals MX plus B case. And once you do this, you can solve for unknown variables and uh, come up with an equation to model several different phenomenon. All right, so looking at a specific example, this is what a problem might say. What would you plot to get a straight line with the experimental data x, y? Also indicate the slope and intercept for each plot. And the special note here says uh, use rectangular plots rather than semi-log plots, which are easier in my opinion anyways. Okay, so for this example, what I like to do uh, right away is just write y equals mx plus b. And this way, we can uh, correlate each of the values and have an idea of what to plot, what our slope would be, and what our intercept would be. So in this case, correlating the values, we would plot y squared versus x squared, because you can see that correlation, and then our slope would be a, and our intercept would just be negative b. Okay, that wasn't too difficult, because it was already in the form y equals mx plus b. But sometimes you'll have to manipulate these and we'll get to one of those problems soon. So for this example, y cubed equals q times square root of x minus n squared. Let's once again do the writing of y equals mx plus b. You don't have to do this every time, I just recommend doing it the first couple times when you're getting used to this uh, format. So you write this and you can make this correlation once you get your uh, manipulated equation into the form y equals mx plus b. So in this case, correlating the values, we would plot y cubed versus square root of x. So you can see that correlation there and there. And our slope would be q and our intercept would be negative n squared. So looking at this last example, it's a little different from the other ones we looked at. So it is not yet in this y equals mx plus b form. So what do we have to do? We have to manipulate it and get it into that form. Okay, so first I see there's a square root on the whole right hand side, so it would be a good idea to square both sides. Which would get rid of that square root. And another important thing is to find your slope and your intercept, you're going to want to isolate um, those values. So right now this part looks good, ax squared, but we have minus b over x, and we don't want that x in the denominator. So what you're going to want to do in this case is multiply the whole equation by x. So you'll have y squared x equals ax cubed minus b. Alright, so that looks a little bit better. It may look strange and it may take some getting used to, but we now have our equation in our y equals mx plus b form. So correlating these, uh, we would get plot y squared x versus x cubed 
And doing that, our slope would be A, and our intercept would be negative B. All right, well, I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, please uh, leave a comment below or add a suggestion. And if you did find this helpful, also check out the other videos. Thanks again.